Okay, well, the 21st century might be an uncertain time to be living in, but at least we have our animal situation under control. At the moment, humans and animals live alongside one another and we don't often have to worry about becoming their dinner. That wouldn't have been the case a few million years ago. Back then, the Earth was a real horror show. In today's video, we're talking about 10 extinct monsters we shouldn't bring back. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Helicoprian Looking at a picture of a Helicoprian, I wouldn't blame you for thinking it's a video game character or some kind of mythical monster. It looks like a cross between a shark and a circular buzzsaw. It turns out that this sea monster really was real though. The Helicoprian lived 290 million years ago and was thought to swim the waters off North America, East Europe, Asia, and Australia. We first became aware of the true terror of Helicoprians when a tooth whorl was discovered in Idaho. It's thought that the tooth wheels would have measured 24 inches in length, and the big fish itself would have been around 39 feet long. Why would a big fish need a circular set of teeth? Great question. But if I could make a guess, I'd say it's because it knew it would freak people out thousands of years into the future. I'm pretty glad that buzzsaw sharks are a thing of the very distant past. Terror Bird With a name like Terror Bird, I can already tell without looking at a picture that this is not a bird I'd want to meet. I'm fine with birds right now, but I wouldn't want them any bigger. Have you ever seen an ostrich in real life? I wouldn't want one to come too near to me. The official name for the 11-foot bird is Forest Hassets, but I feel like their nickname is much better suited. These beaked beasts live predominantly in South America, although one species of terror bird was able to make its way to North America. The giant birds lived between 60 million years ago and two and a half million years ago, when they disappeared from the face of the earth. Scientists believe that the gigantic meat-eating birds were ferocious predators, and their beaks and claws were powerful weapons. Oh, and they weighed close to 1,000 pounds. Before you start imagining Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, but with terror birds, I do have some good news. They couldn't fly. Thank God. Although they could run very fast, humans and terror birds didn't share the planet, but if they had, it might have been a bit like the movie 10,000 BC. It's a no to terror birds from me. Titan Boa who here has ever seen a big snake? Okay, who here has seen a big snake in the wild? So not behind the glass at the zoo. Were you scared? You must have been. It's a human instinct to be scared of snakes because many of them can still take us down. Imagine the all-consuming fear we would have felt if we had ever encountered a titan boa. Titan boas were the biggest known snakes to ever exist. And when I say big, I mean big. These giant snakes are estimated to have been 45 feet long, over 3 feet thick, and weighing a total of 2,500 pounds. Just to put that into perspective, these snakes were literally the size of a bus and as big as a T-Rex. Titan boa snakes were thought to live in Colombia and South America and were alive and thriving 60 million years ago. They had needle-sharp teeth, but they weren't venomous. They didn't need to be. The gigantic snakes were like uber versions of today's boa constrictors. They would squeeze their prey to death and then eat them whole. Luckily for us, humans weren't around to see them. Ancient crocodiles weren't so lucky though. It's thought that the serpent ate them as well as giant turtles, smaller fish, and some mammals. Dunkleosteus have you ever stopped to think about how fish look like actual monsters? Even the fish we have today. We put up with them because we don't have to share a living space with them, but have you ever stared a fish in the eye? They're freaky. There is no fish alive today that is freakier than the Dunkleosteus. In Greek, 
The name means bonefish, and you're about to see why. Take a look at its skull. Giant fish with bony fangs? Absolutely not. These sea monsters were at their smallest six feet long, but at their biggest, it was thought that they measured up to 28 feet. These menaces had a bite force of 1,600 pounds, and they were thought to prey on other fish. A lot of fossils belonging to this terror fish have been found in North America, Poland, Belgium, and Morocco. So if you live in any of those places, you should thank your lucky stars you no longer have to share water with these nightmare fish. Loch Ness Monster Is Nessie extinct? Or was she ever even alive in the first place? The Loch Ness Monster is an enduring mystery from the highlands of Scotland. The legend has been around for hundreds of years, in some form or another, but the mystery first gained widespread public attention in 1934 when an image of the so-called lake monster was published in newspapers across the world. The surgeon's photograph put the monster, finally referred to as a Nessie, on the map. Many witnesses claim to have seen the monster swimming in the frigid waters of Loch Ness, but no firm proof has ever been presented that the monster actually exists. But even if it did, what exactly is Nessie? Some conspiracists believe that the monster is actually a plesiosaur that has miraculously managed to survive extinction. Plesiosaurs were thought to have died out during the late Triassic period, so this theory is pretty wild. These sea dinosaurs were the kings of the ocean in their time, measuring 49 feet long. Geologist William Buckland described the animal as a sea serpent run through a turtle. I totally get that. Others think Nessie could be a giant catfish, although she would be the only one in that body of water, which is very strange. Do you guys believe in the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> Episcyan. We hear a lot about big prehistoric cats like the formidable saber-toothed tiger. But what about big ancient dogs? Well, I have news for you. Big dogs ruled before big cats. Ferocious canines called Episcyans were the biggest prehistoric dogs to have lived. They measured around 5 feet long and weighed 300 pounds. So they weren't quite as crazy big as some of the animals on this list. But they were just as fierce. They had the power to crush bones. Episcyans were no Fido. They were hunters and meat eaters. Although we don't actually know how they hunted, whether it was alone or in packs, Episcyans lived in Western North America between 15 and 5 million years ago, and they are most closely related to today's hyenas. How do you guys feel about bigger, scarier hyenas? Because I don't feel so good. Spinosaurus. Did you know that there was a dinosaur that was bigger than a T-Rex? The Spinosaurus was the biggest carnivorous dinosaur known to walk the earth. This giant lizard lived around 70 to 95 million years ago in the swamps of North Africa. This absolute mammoth of a dinosaur had a unique appearance, getting its name from a line of spines down its back. The spines alone were thought to be 7 feet long, and the animal itself was thought to measure up to 59 feet. You would not have wanted to get in its way as the dinosaur was a heavy too. It's thought to have weighed up to 9,000 pounds. They had sharp teeth and were mainly thought to eat fish. The Spinosaurus were semi-aquatic, a lot like today's crocodiles, only these beasts were more agile and had razor-sharp claws. Basically, you weren't safe on land or in water. A lot of people have enjoyed imagining what would have happened if a Spinosaurus fought a T-Rex. In most simulations, the Spinosaurus comes out on top. Arthropleura. Anyone here a fan of bugs? Who is a fan of creepy crawlies? Well, not me. I don't like millipedes in today's world. They have too many legs and I don't like the way that they move. Something tells me I would have disliked them even more millions of years ago. Why? Well, they were eight and a half feet long. Bugs bigger than humans? Hard no. Imagine hundreds of legs scuttling towards you. 
This is one bug you couldn't flatten with a shoe. The Arthropleura lived in the northeast of North America and also in Scotland. I guess the climate was right for them in those two places. Luckily for us, they were alive 345 to 295 million years ago, so we never had to meet them other than maybe in our nightmares. Mega Piranha Modern day piranhas are scary enough. I don't even want to know about ancient killer fish. Today's piranhas have the ability to kill children and sometimes adults. In 2011, angry piranhas injured 100 people in Brazil. And in 2012, a child died after falling into piranha infested water in the Amazon. So imagine the mega piranha. These 30-pound fish lived in the Amazon basin during the Miocene era 8 to 10 million years ago. They were thought to stretch around 28 inches in length and have an insane bite, stronger than the largest shark in history. It's thought that the deadly fish could bite up to 50 times its weight. And of course, where there's one piranha, there are more. Purosaurus a gigantic caiman? No thanks. The Purosaurus is related to today's alligators and was one of the largest crocodilians to ever exist. Why should you be scared of this extinct monster? Well, other than the fact that it was a giant and ferocious croc-like creature, scientists believe that it had a bite twice as powerful as a T-Rex. The Purosaurus lived in the Amazon region and was adept at taking down large prey. It's believed that the crocodilian measured around 41 feet and weighed a staggering 8 tons. Scientists believe the monsters ate 20 times the amount a day than modern alligators, so they were hungry. This equated to around 90 pounds of raw meat a day. The Purosaurus had no natural predators and only died out during the rise of the Andes mountain range. Thank you, mountains. Thank you. That was 10 extinct monsters we shouldn't bring back. I, for one, am suddenly thrilled to be living in the modern day. It may not be perfect right now, but imagine stepping outside and having to deal with a terror bird, an alligator the size of a bus, or a dinosaur the size of a house. Let us know which monster you thought was the scariest.